What's going on YouTube? GFN right here. Happy New Year everyone. In today's video we have some great news coming from the Palrain team. You know how it's impossible to currently have a passcode on iOS 16 with Palrain and iOS 15 and stuff like that? Well that might be able to change in the future since Pongo OS has been updated. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode if you forgot your passcode, bypass MDM, remove your SIM lock, remove iTunes backup encryption and stuff like that. Definitely check it out. It's a tool containing lots of other smaller tools that you might find useful, especially for secondhand devices. Check the program out in the link below. So yes, Pelrain Jailbreak, which is basically like a replacement for the older Checkrain Jailbreak. This one supports iOS 15 and iOS 16, all versions of iOS 16 and all versions of iOS 15. You can run tweaks and it works fine. It's a proper, fully working Jailbreak. However, since this one is based on the Checkmate exploit, it suffers from the same issue any other Jailbreak like that would, which is basically not being able to have a passcode, and the reason for that is SEP and the changes that were added to SEP. Now a couple of days ago here on the Pongo OS, there was an iOS 15 build updated, and as you can see even 9 hours ago, Pongo OS has been updated. Pongo OS is a pre-boot execution environment for the uh, iOS devices, which is built on top of Checkrain. It's actually what Checkrain uses right before the device boots during the jailbreak process. Well what happened is that Pelrain team asked the Checkrain team for permission so that they can use Pongo OS, which they could. There have been demos of Pongo OS running on 16.2, especially from this person here, Ahmed. And yeah, as you can see, that's basically the Pongo OS. That's the Checkrain logo and it runs pretty fine on iOS 16.2. Now do keep in mind that for the moment Checkrain itself, the jailbreak, is not updated for iOS 16 or 15, just an important component of it called Pongo OS. However, the Pelrain team took Pongo OS with permission and they are able to use it for Pelrain. Minek, one of the developers behind Pelrain posted this quote, Hello my friends, I've just pushed an update to Pelrain that adds Pango OS support for Pelrain rootless. Yes, we got permission from Checkrain team and no, this is not affiliated with Checkrain in any way. Blackbird for A10 passcode will also be possible. So basically what this adds is support for passcode on the A10 devices. This includes the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPod Touch 6th generation, a couple of iPads and stuff like that. So that's actually great. A11 devices are still not supported for the moment because because Blackbird exploit, which is a SEP exploit, is not supporting A11, not even on Checkrain. But before this, even iPhone 7, 7 Plus and stuff like that were having issues with having a passcode on Pelrain. So now it's possible to have one. Of course, there are many other good things that can come from Pango OS. It's very powerful and it actually allows you to load custom RAM disks and to install the jailbreak in a different way, boot kernels and stuff like that. It's actually very, very powerful. And it adds to a much better Pelrain jailbreak. So this is actually an important development. But this also goes to show that the Checkrain project is not dead. They still update it and they managed to get the most important component of it actually to work on iOS 16 and 15, which is nice. At this point, it's probable that Checkrain jailbreak will be updated at some point to work with iOS 15 and 16. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Happy New Year again. And thank you for being a part of the iDevice Central community last year. Thank you again for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.